With extraordinary pizza cheese comes extraordinary rewards. Only Baccio Exceptional Italian Pizza Cheese offers the Gold Club Rewards Program with monthly cash back on every cheese purchase. Members also receive funds twice a year to use in their exclusive marketing store. It's their way of saying grazie to customers. Schedule a demonstration at BaccioCheese.com slash hot slice and discover how rewarding Baccio Exceptional Italian Pizza Cheese can be. Pizza is your legacy. Build it with Baccio. Hi, I am Ruth Matheny, and I am here with Katie Agor and Suzanne Francis, and we are the owners of the Grove Woodfire Pizza in Granbury, Texas. Okay, so, and we have to start because you guys came up to me and told me your story, and I absolutely am in love with your story. So, tell me how you got it, where you came from, and how you got into pizza. Okay, well, we, first of all, we are three retired teachers. We all taught elementary school, and after we retired, uh, Katie and Suzanne came up with a really good idea. Go ahead. We caught it. Yeah. Uh, yes, we are all retired school teachers, and we were looking for a new journey to go on together since we enjoyed teaching, but yet it was time to move on to something else. So we are um, venturing into the pizza journey. Right. And you guys recently, I mean, you opened recently, I guess, a yes. month. Yes. A month. So yes. tell me how this first month has gone in owning a pizzeria. How much different is it from working with the little yayos? <laughs> actually, it's a lot nicer <laughs> because we can actually say, Okay, we'll be with you in a minute, and they'll actually go away. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's been nice, and it's just been a fun adventure in learning okay. not only the cooking side of it, uh -huh. but the business side of it, yeah. and the permitting side of it. Okay, and just all the new things we're learning. About yeah, business. I mean we're lifelong learners, so it's been fun yeah. to like get to still interact with people. Yeah, I love and a lot of old, of former students come yeah. by and they're so excited oh, to see yeah. us in a different environment. Oh, so that's, that's been true. Yeah, that that would be fun. Yeah. Seeing like little kids that are yes. growing up they yeah. to your restaurant. Yeah. I love that. We're great. trying to create that environment too, that family environment. Wait, what's your pizza style? How did how'd you come up with it? I mean, what, how did you come up with this dough recipe or what, what you're yeah, using? The dough is fantastic. But she is the she chef. Is the oh, chef. I love it. Tell, yeah, you tell us more. <laughs> well, I mean, we had a back, backyard pizza oven for the last 15 years. Okay. And we've just been tinkering. And uh, we got we had a, what was it, 10 days of snowvid, like COVID snowvid, yeah. where we were <laughs> frozen in. And so I yeah. got online and watched a pizza dough master class okay so i enrolled in that and watched that and then for the last year we've been practicing and practicing wow. yeah uh, neapolitan crust pizzas okay very different pizzas like the jalapeno popper pizza oh nice a um, philly cheesesteak and then we have a specialty mm. that's called the grove okay. which has pears and pecans and uh, oh. things like that on it so we we changed the menu up it's very nice and then suzanne came up with a flight of Oh yeah, I gotta. Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta talk oh, yeah, about yeah, yeah. Right. So, okay, so I, 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 I am a craft beer fan, so I'm used to beer flights. I've had <laughs> wine flights, but a pizza flight, we, we need to know more. That was yeah. Susie's idea. Yeah, well, we yeah. just take our normal size dough and okay. we divide it into three, and we try three different kinds. Okay. And that way, because all of our pizzas are specialty. Okay. You can build your own, but we. Our specialty is the specialty pizzas, so we're trying to encourage people to get to try the More. different ones that they may not necessarily try if you have to order a big one. I yeah, love so. that. You're bringing such fresh ideas. I had actually never heard of somebody doing a pizza flight. This was a first for me, <laughs> and I've been in the industry for 12 or 13 years, so, uh, we, so we I love We even that. have the slogan, delight in a flight. Oh, <laughs> we love those rhyming there words in elementary. <laughs> You guys have a very good head on your, uh, you know, head on your shoulders about business and about what you're doing with pizza. The one thing I love is when we had a little bit of conversation before this, like you didn't go in this blindly. You all have been researching, and you came to Expo yeah. last year, we yeah. did. you know, way before you were ready to open. Yes. So tell me about that learning journey of trying to get open. 
Uh, well, we just have been through several processes. Uh, first of all, learning what do we need to open a restaurant? Yeah. What rules, regulations, permits do we need? Especially yeah. if we get wine and beer to go along with it. And mm -hmm. what do we need in our kitchen yeah. to keep us open and safe and yeah. you know, not poison anybody? So <laughs> <laughs> we do not want to do that. So it's been a learning experience, and it's just every been fun. step has every been a learning. Step. I mean, yeah. we, we we have none no of us background whatsoever. So it has been fun, and luckily we have three you know husbands that have supported us, oh, and they're yes. like, "Go for it!" You yeah. know, so they even help us out with, yeah. with the restaurant and everything. So oh, they complain really about their pay since they don't yeah. get oh, any, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cute. So. Um, tell me about it. Okay, so last year was your first expo, right? And then right. this year is your second. What are you looking for this year? Like, like, what do you hope to get out of Pete's Expo this year? Well, we actually talked about that. Our first year, we were, everything was new. Like, yeah. we didn't have a point of sale system. You walk in we with a shock. Know. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And then this year, we kind of talked beforehand. We're like, okay, we got the point of sale system down. We have a few questions there. We have you know, our dough down, but we'd like to, you know, so we had the more specific things we were looking for this year. What are you, what are you hoping to do when you get back to your restaurant now that you're a month in, hey, getting away from your restaurant after a month, that's pretty good. Um, but what are you hoping to be able to do with your restaurant once you get back? Are you going to, you know, instill some new, uh, new systems or, you know, what are you hoping to do as you, as you grow the business? Just even from some of the sessions with the product and the labor costs and finding out how to manage that and, Okay. You know, not waste food here and plan for the future and make private events. We also do private events. Yeah, which is, which that's is big pretty money. fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty big money. So uh, just learning how to plan for all of that. That's amazing. It's been, it's been pretty fun to learn now. And we, yeah. we started slow because we were worried about being overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And so we haven't done a lot of like advertising. Okay. You know, it's been more so word of kick it out. Word like, about. <laughs> You know, now we realize we're, you know, when we're making, when we're making pizza now, we're waiting, we're listening when people order and, you know, mm -hmm. so we're like, okay, we're ready for a little bit more. So yeah. we can like step up on our marketing and getting the word out a little more and try and like enter our way into it. The expo is so great that we can divide and conquer, you know, yes. like we can all have our specialty areas and affirm some of the things we're doing right yeah. that you wonder sometimes, is this the right path to take? Yeah. And you're like, oh, yes, it is, because <laughs> yeah. people can had this problem. That? And yeah. yeah, that's how we solved it. So it's also nice to say, even though we know nothing, we're still kind yeah. of on the right path. Yeah. Well, I cannot wait to watch your journey. Keep us posted, because yes. uh, we want to see how you grow, okay? Well, right. thank, you. thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate, thank it. You. We appreciate it. Looking to grow your pizzeria or restaurant? then you'll want to try the power of a cloud-based POS system. With Hunger Rush, you'll get everything you need. This fully integrated restaurant management system allows you to easily streamline operations, accelerate the delivery process, and grow your business through Hunger Rush 360 marketing. And it's so easy to use. Want AI-powered text ordering? It's built in. Need to track orders? No problem. Schedule a personalized demo at HungerRush.com today. Uh, hi, my name is Kumzi Svoza. I'm from Debanese Pizza, uh, which is a pizza restaurant in Africa. Okay, and you have several restaurants, like a thousand around Africa, correct? Yes, we have about a thousand locations in southern Africa, okay. um, dotted across about 14 countries, mm -hmm. but the vast majority of them are in South Africa. Okay, and what kind of what kind of pizzerias are they? Like, what's the concept? Okay. So we, we feel part of what is known as a quick service restaurant. Okay. So um, although we do offer a sit down experience in our restaurant, a lot of our um, customers are delivery or takeaway customers, uh -huh. so they buy and um, to go and okay. have it at yes. home. <laughs> yeah. And delivery, of course, is quite big and significant for us. Okay. Um, so, uh, I think about 60% or okay. the vast majority of our restaurants also um, deliver to yeah. home. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And tell me about kind of um, your market. Like what, what, what kind of markets are you serving? Um, South Africa and Africa is a very interesting continent. Mm -hmm. It's a, mel a melting pot of different cultures, uh, different consumer types. Uh, we've got quite a vibrant and young um, mm -hmm. 
population on the continent of Africa. Um, so it's, it is quite a blend. It goes from students all the way to retirees, uh, people that are in the early stages of their family building cycles to people with um, well-established families and um, and well, well along the way in terms of their family yeah. life cycle. So it's quite a uh -huh. quite challenging to say who exactly our market is. Yeah, it's, it's quite very advice, it's but, and diverse. diverse. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm very curious uh, about uh, your pizza style and kind of what resonates in those markets. Like, like what is your pizza style? So our pizza style, um, it's interesting because mm -hmm. it takes a little bit of components or elements that are really awesome from different styles. Okay. Um, our business was founded out of the inspiration of the New York pizza. So when okay. our founding members came over here to the U.S. and saw what pizza was like and bought uh -huh. the idea back home. So you can see a lot of that come through. But South Africans generally like um, saucy pizzas. So okay. Really saucy pizzas. Okay. Um, where, where Americans um, or, the, or the U.S. market likes to see the, the crust. Our okay. customers kind of like want to see end to end cheese okay. and toppings. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm from the Midwest in the United States, yes. and they're very heavy toppings, heavy sauce yes. people. So yes. I get it. I get <laughs> yeah, it totally. <laughs> okay. yeah, so that if you can get as much on the pizza yeah. as possible. So we've got really, really cool pizzas that, in, in, in some instances, look um, look familiar or sometimes distant. So we've got our most iconic or famous pizza. Uh -huh. is um, called the Triple Decker, where we've got three layers of pizza. Oh, wow. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So you traveled a really long distance to come to Pizza Expo. Yeah. How, how long was your travel to get to here? It was very long. Um, <laughs> it took, I think it was a total of 36 hours of travel time. Oh, my goodness. And that was just to come to this Pizza Expo. It was just to come here, but yeah. man, oh man, was it worth it. It yeah. is absolutely amazing here. The amount of knowledge, the different suppliers here, uh -huh. all the innovation. Mm -hmm. It really, really was worth it. What now? What were you hoping to come to get out of the show when, when you when you said, "Okay, I'm going to come to Pizza Expo"? What were you hoping to either learn or uh, get lined up? What, what were you hoping to do? So for me, I was just really hoping to find ways to excite um, customers a bit more so innovation is really important for me yeah um, for me to personally get educated a bit more okay. i'm not that old in the pizza industry i okay. joined the industry about a year ago okay so um i there's still quite a big education piece required for me so i'm enjoying the talks which i'm going to go to yeah. just now right on um but um so find ways to excite our customers learn new innovation and get educated Okay. What, what's what been your favorite part about this show so far? So far, mm. there are so many. I'd have to say it's all the conversations with the exhibitors. Everybody's yeah. been so generous with their knowledge. Yeah. Even when it's something that's not necessarily um, related to what I'm doing, but uh -huh. just um, because you add somebody's stand, they take mm. the time to help you get a gem or something from them. So yeah. I'd say that's probably my favorite part. Well, that's yeah. great. Well, I thank you so much for coming to the show, but also to sit on the podcast with us and tell us a little bit about yourself and the business. I appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a great rest of your time and easy travels home. Thank you. <laughs> Performance Food Service is proud to deliver high quality products, innovative technology, and custom operational solutions to restaurants of all sizes across the country. The flagship division of Performance Food Group with deep roots in the restaurant industry, Performance Food Service has been the exclusive distributor of the Roma family of brands for more than 65 years. This signature relationship has allowed Performance Food Service to become a leader in the pizza and Italian segment of food service nationwide.